So when yeah. you are hiring people, you're certainly looking for competence and experience at a level, unless you have said, I'm willing to take on an entry level person and I will train them, which guess what? You probably don't have the time. So what you are looking for is somebody who already knows and they have a track record of doing the thing that you want done. This is the biggest mistake that I see entrepreneurs make. We hire people because we like them, because they seem really smart and savvy. Look, because they're a great culture fit. Culture, the laziness in hiring for and, and using culture as the rationale for hiring somebody who doesn't know what the hell they're doing is just mind boggling to me. Although I've done it too, just so we're clear. But so number one is, do they have a track record of competency in this area? Ideally, are they better at it than you are with that one specific thing that you're hiring them to do? That's thing number one. Thing number two is, are they batteries included? This is really important, especially for younger entrepreneurial organizations. You need people who are going to bring their own energy to the party. And you can sense this, right? You really can kind of sense. And, and you can find it out by asking questions like, hey, so tell me about some things that, that you read. What are your, some of your favorite books? What are you like? Are they passionate about the area that you're hiring them in? In the early days of a company, your first 20 hires, you were looking for missionaries. Okay, you want people who are excited about what they're doing. Yes, they got to be competent, but you don't have time to motivate them. You're not going to have an HR program that that's doing like Nerf gun battles and whatever, like happy hours to keep the, the motivation going. They got to bring their own batteries. And the third thing I would broadly categorize is, are they a culture fit? A simple way of saying this, though, is do you like them? Do you actually like hanging out with them? This is not a popular thing to say. Because a lot of people will say, oh, well, you shouldn't hire people just like you. You should have diversity in thought and diversity in your organization. I mean, hopefully you like people who are different. You, it, those aren't right. mutually so exclusive. that matter side for right. just a second. You should like them because it's a small team. And if you find somebody's just exhausting to be around, even if they're competent, even if they seem really excited, don't hire them, not for your first 20 hires.